5 modes of transportation found only in the Philippines. Here are vehicles you can't find anywhere else in the world. Hop on. Made by a Filipino, for the Filipino. No one would have thought that a short phrase held such great impact and could change a country's history. Indeed, the ability of a Filipino should never be underestimated. 1. Jeepney. Filipinos like to converse even if they don't intimately know each other, and the jeepney's interior made it easier. Its seats facing towards each other and its close proximity is perfect for a good icebreaker and making instant friends for a less boring travel time. Made by a Filipino, for the Filipino. Jeepneys are a Philippine icon. Often appearing in flashy and colorful fashion, and present almost anywhere, they are considered as kings of the road. They are the primary transportation on land, especially since buses cannot travel in smaller areas. If you are riding the jeepney for the first time, these basic pointers may help, though having a companion would be better. 1. If you are not sure of your destination, you can ask the driver where he can drop you off. Some drivers tend to forget to drop you off, it would help to remind or ask them every once in a while. 2. Saying bye at Po. You utter these words as you hand your money fare to the driver or fee collector. 3. Saying para po. If you already know or have seen where your stop is, you say this to serve as a signal for the driver to stop the vehicle. For added precautionary measure, be watchful of your things, and be aware of your surroundings. People may be friendly, but they sometimes use this as distraction to steal your belongings. 2. Tricycle. Tricycles are less visible in major highways in the Philippines. Being smaller in size, they are used in short distance travel, and are most commonly seen on the side streets, subdivisions, smaller cities and towns. In some instances, tricycles are hired to ferry people and merchandise from the market. You can ride tricycles along with other passengers, and pay an average rate, or you can ride it privately, which they also call special, where you pay a higher rate or the equivalent rate of the number of passengers. A tricycle resembles that of auto rickshaws in India and tuk-tuks of Thailand, only that a tricycle has its cab attached to its right side. It gives room for up to seven people. 3. Pedicab. Man-powered, quiet, environment-friendly. Also goes by the name Padayak or Tricod, Pedicab is a bicycle with attached sidecar, much like a tricycle, though they are a silent version, and uses human pedal power to transport passengers. This type of transportation is more commonly allowed to travel in some secondary streets, small towns and villages, or areas where jeepneys and buses are prohibited. Pedicabs have the capacity of two to three persons per ride. 4. Habble Habble. In Metro Manila, it is an everyday picture that you see one to two persons riding on a motorcycle. However, it is not the case when it comes to the streets of Mindanao and some parts of Visayas. Habble Habble is a highly improvised two-wheeled single motorcycle usually ridden beyond its passenger capacity. Since it is used as public transportation especially in areas with narrow roads, and steeper, rougher terrain, it could possibly carry up to six passengers, at the least. Yes, some people might have said that a Habble Habble could accommodate more than 10 persons, with baggages ranging from vegetables and groceries to livestock like chicken yet to be included. 5. Kalisa. A Kalisa is a horse-drawn carriage that used to be around the streets, but is now mostly ridden for tourists' use. If you happen to visit Vigan, Ilocos Norte, a Kalisa ride completes the whole experience. Tour along and feel the quaint ambience in the Spanish lanes of the town. Manila, specifically Intramuros, also offers a Kalisa ride the old-fashioned way with your coachman serving as your tour guide, in complete costume and all. Only in the Philippines. While in some ways this phrase makes people shake their heads with its several meaning, more often than not, this has made Filipinos proud. Because the Philippines is the only place in the world where you find not only several modes of transportation, but a journey forever etched in your heart. <laughs>